because when I started out the game, I didn't expect it to be at a certain resolution, but it is at a good enough resolution to be on the, uh, what's it called? The, the projector. So I'll just have that there and we will be having fun with that in a moment. I may need to adjust sound, so we will potentially have to deal with that. But Thistleline, last I checked, it was a game that was sort of like Eldritch Plant Monsters and such, made by Fruit Bat Factory, and it seems to be a very fun one for some people. Sadly, it hasn't got a lot of traction on Steam. I do believe it's because of the price. But it is something that seems a little up my alley from how I've seen it. Because there's things like Miasma and the Exclusion Zone and everything as like a big sort of plot element. And overall, just a lot of juicy information for me to process. Hopefully there's good lore, and I'm hoping to have a lot of fun with it. For now, let's get in. Oh, shit. Okay, good. V2 Studio did not just crash. Good. And the game's starting up. And it does appear to be made in RPG Maker because we can all kind of see through. I did kind of start up the game, and there's one thing that I'm a little bit miffed at, and we'll see in a moment, but for now, there's three modes. Temporal Rift, which is your sort of endless mode, where you can practice individual encounters. It's not like going into the free game, it's going into, I want to train and I want to get better. There's Regimental Mode, that does things like frame stopping, not skipping, a Val strategy to just wait for the foe. It's interesting. And it even suggests, hey, get something to drink with this mode. It's a mode reserved for the insane and unhinged. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. We're gonna go standard. The standard Thistle Mine experience. All sub routes accessible. Uh, accessible. Dialogue and choices are enabled. Save and checkpoints are enabled. A straightforward experience that allows for plenty of routing and experimentation. Context and narrative can also be pieced together at your own leisure. So, I've not played far into this game. I just kind of went around, made sure there were no major glitches in the beginning, and everything can start up just fine and run on my computer. If this game is actually like a go around the area and have multiple endings, we're gonna have some fun. For now, let's go in. And also... Arara. You'd like to self-report? The classic with <laughs> All right. So, we have this sort of Gaelic girl, which I like her. Little Tam O'Shanter. Noah. The items. I've not actually read into some of them. Rock hammer artifact. Noah's anomalous artifact. Novelty sized rock hammer. Launches a corrosion accelerating shockwave at opponents. Rifle artifact. Noah's anomalous artifact. Novelty sized grand And a. Grand. Grand Rifle. It's really just a modified Dali that makes a nice ping sound. Oh my gosh. Glass Eye Artifact. Functions like a normal eye while it's in the eye socket. Allows Noah to learn additional information on anything she looks at. Is the sound too loud? I feel it is a moment. Hold on. Give it a second. There we are. Okay. Yeah, the ping sound on any gun is just... The chef's kiss to everything. Anomalous artifact. Can sense danger and rewind time. Automatically activates if Noah is incapacitated. Standard cartridge. Specifically designed to neutralize anomalous threats. Excavator dog tag. We got dog tags. Booze. Good old booze. Excavator license and a dog tag. Hooray! And we have interesting little things of actual stuff. Now, I don't know if this game is a sequel or anything. I have not actually read into it, but we have standard Z, X, and C for interacting. This cloud hints at additional conditions present within the area or during an enemy encounter. Meeting these conditions may lead to additional resources, new encounters, or an alternative route. Some conditions are more cryptic than others and may require certain prerequisites to be met beforehand before they can be attempted. Although many of the rewards for meeting these conditions can be used to realize select combat encounters and rapidly progress through entire areas, engaging with them is intended to lead towards a significant more difficult response. Additional resources are hidden in this area. You probably want them. Journal tips. Keep multiple save files. Understand skill and synergies. Determine the value of each item. Optimize your routes and actions. Memorize and navigation mechanics. Use your resources wisely. Take the time to plan ahead. Brute force can also work if you're willing to track dozens of potential input sequences. Good luck out there! 
Oh boy. It's empty. There's no at the bottom. It says Soggy takes what Soggy must. Hmm. Full of blankets and pillows on one side, near the plane supply of rations and medical supplies on the other. There's no on top of blankets. It says the exclusion zone is only a few minutes away. Which direction? Left the right, whichever you prefer. I've left behind enough supplies for maybe 50 or so people. Take what you need. Make sure to rest before heading off. So, we seem to be like some kind of archaeologist interesting stuff. And I kind of like this, but I want a little bit more story in the beginning. We'll see how this goes. For now... Eyes. Eyes indeed. Hello, friends. What are you doing down there? Okay, if those are the stumps, then we're probably on big trees, which... Hi there! Uh, hmm. Hi there! <laughs> Alright! So do we want left or right, dear god? Dead tree last. The miasma slowly suffocates you. Girls left five. Oh, great! You can hold any action key to accelerate the sequence. A single error may result in death, so please be wary of auto select. Okay, cool. Uh. Activate something in a turn. So we have Bottle of Scrumpy. That's our life juice and buffing. Scrumptious Handshake. The last an empty enemy with a bottle of Scrumpy. Reduces enemy max HP by 10% for the rest of the battle. Okay. Black Watch Reset. Rewind to last checkpoint. Okay. Pounding Rejuvenation. Rewind is time to fully restore the HP and SP of one ally. Grants 100% critical rate for one two turns. Mmm. Inflicts corrosion, which deals 5%, 10%, 50% max HP for the three burns. Can be stacked up to three times, requires one corrosive part to use. We don't have any of that. Inflicts corrosive acceleration to all enemies afflicted with corrosion, lethal corrosion. Okay, so that would be working with those. So is this what it means by puzzle RPG? Yes. Hmm. I'll try to shooting. No, it shoots. <laughs> okay. Did tree last fall to her? No, it was stunned. No, it's been poisoned. Okay, great. She pouts. <laughs> Stunned and can't move. Fall and can't get up. Jeez, that is. That is an evil thing. Okay. Alright, let's actually drink our booze. Oh, it doesn't restore HP to us. Gotcha. Oh, how it goes. Hi, -o. Yeah. So given that we just are able to murder, that's good. Miasma fragment. Max HP plus one and power plus one. All right. Are we still dying? No, we are not. Good. I was trying to find correct sequence of actions to win a battle. I tried a concept like this in RPG Maker 4. It was nearly as fun as I thought it would be. It could be good. I don't know how it would work. Hello there. Uh, I'm just going to avoid you two. Because I don't want to deal with two of you. Nope, we got it. Okay, so it seems like... No matter which direction we go, it's like an endless hall thing. Interesting. Who laughs? I mean, that's what slow suffocates you. We have four turns. Okay, interesting. Uh, we can only check them. Okay, it's a free turn. Gotcha. Apparent juvenile anomalies. Though too young and too weak to be a threat, the surrounding miasma is thick enough to warp small space around them. I don't know what they're thinking, but they seem to be waiting for me to do or say something. The asthma spare is no time for conversation. My only option for efficient communication is gunfire and violence. Mmm. Well. Hmm. Well, I just made her sad. Can I scare both off? Tripped and fell over. Well, now I just feel bad. Okay. Hmm. I just feel bad. Do I have anything I can do? Okay. Yeah, I feel bad. I feel terrible. Okay. 
Let's actually try to do something that's nice. Okay, so that takes us to the start of battle. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, they're just chilling here. I don't want to hurt them. They're nice. They're nice little dryads. What's this game? Uh, Thistle Mine. It's apparently like a puzzle RPG sort of work. I'm trying to figure out what would be best for Ashley dealing with these two. Because I could just shoot them four times, but that feels like a waste of ammo. We have the rifle. Yeah. A puzzler. Yeah. Okay, that hits both. Let's try that. Okay, that's how we're supposed to do that. Okay. Sweet. Hello, Ban and Bad Dragon Toy. Hope you're having fun. Trying to understand why this game didn't sell that well. Two, but I want to give it the old college try. Hi there. Interesting. Because it is. $19 on Steam, I, mm, I think it would be a little bit less and do better, like, definitely, hmm. Oh, let's see what it does. Splinter. Okay. Turns left six, okay. Let's see. Splinter. Five juvenile anomalies. At the center is a small, is a small and fragile splinter. Despite her appearance, she poses a mild threat. Her horn contains strong enough across her qualities. A couple stats from her will be lethal. The really has certain case will cause any real harm, however. The thick miasma that surrounds them will certainly suffocate me if I take too long. So basically... I could just rock hammer them outright. Mmm. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm just gonna rock hammer again. Lethal corrosion. Cool. So that was not the right answer. I know. Today is travel day for me, but thankfully not super long. Well, yeah. This was from Keymailer, yes. Yeah, no. That is a dead Noah. Okay. Is there any other way I can go? Yeah, it was from Keymailer. I need to find where the devil we can get more stuff. Because those, I feel like, are things that I can get. Hmm. I would really like some explanations to things, like starting with lore and everything, but... I feel that could be changed with a couple of other things. Like, it might be like, oh, you gotta play to the ending and actually figure out stuff. It's like, okay, now let's give it a try. Okay. We have six turns. Let's just beam this person with that. Because we are slow. That is the one issue. We are slow as balls. Hmm. Now let's do that. Alright, so that doesn't fully revive us, but, like, we're not fully here, so that's what it is. The game is certainly lacking as a for how combat even is supposed to work. That is also one of them. So now we can just beam these little ones. We are cured of corrosion. Okay, cool. I was AFK when you started, we're good. It's okay with the heat. I've got heat exhaustion a few times, but I got experienced a lot of things, not all that. Yeah, I had some heat exhaustion earlier as well. Hmm. Okay. So it seems like. Oh, one turn left. Great. Interesting. So that was not the answer. Let's start with timely rejuvenation, and then 
we do the rock hammer. Because they will just pubble us a bit while the center one just tries to murk us. Because then our crit rate is up and then we can just one-shot them. Hmm. Yeah, that one's gone. Do I just let them run? Hmm. Outside there being women on the screen. We're kind of like a researcher or some kind of person that's actually delving in to find out about anomalies and everything. But... Hmm. We have three turns left. Okay. Let's try going back. Yeah, Black Watch Reset is one thing. Don't worry, we don't know either. I want to figure stuff out. That's my issue. I think it was the right way to go for Timely Rejuvenation because that activates at the end of it, so... Yeah, let's speed this up and then we're good. I'm glad that they did add a speed up button, but still. Hmm. Okay. Now all of you bozos can be shot. Yeah, we have four turns, let's murder them. That will be bad, though, now that I look at it. And I get the idea is you just try stuff out until something works. Yeah! I know I'm not vibing over stuff, seriously, but we don't have the exact ability to cure corrosive. Hmm. Extra crit rate is nice, but that doesn't do a lot of it for damage. Yeah, because that only does 50 to 100 percent. Hard time, meaning you have to use success skills and physical order for like Yeah. Yeah, see if we try that next turn we lose. So that wasn't the one. Nope, wait, we're cured. We're good! Yay! We win! Okay. What in the world can these fragments be used for? A black fragment of solidified miasma is left behind by death anomalies. Used for many things from fuel to food to smart item modifications. Okay. Oh, hello. My glass eye. I was born with all the and I was discriminated for it. So a prospector gave me one. It was a normal glass eye by then. The constant exposure to the miasma eventually made it completely indistinguishable from a normal eye. Comes with the benefit of providing information for things I look at. The extra function is not really all that useful, but I like to pretend it is. Interesting. It's a weird gun, designed to be silent, yet ejects cartridges with loud pain. Heart attacks analysis analysts suggested it was a knowledge trinket from the old civilization. Something that was used to accessorize a keychain, nothing more. Oh, wait, it's a little keychain! <laughs> We're shooting things with a little keychain! <laughs> okay, I like that. That's adorable. The miasma turned into, into a functioning weapon at some point. It once had a special function that launches a volley of energy projectiles, but extensive use over a long time is worn out. I'm sure that uh, function for 15 with miasma crystals. I'll be, I may only be able to use it once. Gotcha! A fairly mundane low-level surveying artifact. Having it is considered a punishment by many. The repetition of short windows of time has led most of its users to insanity or suicide. Hmm. Though I've had it the longest, I'm not exempt from the same fate as my predecessors. The artifact housed the mind of Nell, the anomalous of a past exclusion zone. She can speak directly into my consciousness, but she doesn't talk much. On the one occasion Nell said anything, she simply told me that she will only manipulate time with the instance that I'm incapacitated or killed. Until I specifically request to remove herself from my heart and kill me, she will keep me alive and take me back to any point in time we've been together. Last, I suggest that if she needs a tesseract to restore a special function, not no one knows where that is and we're yet to find one. Rock hammer! The first come, first served artifact distribution system didn't work out. I was too slow to grab the better stuff, so I ended up with this thing. A novelty sized rock hammer. Small enough by the old civilization standards, normal ones were twice my height and created tunnels out of prison walls. This one might have been made as a joke or trinket of some sort. It shrinks when out of combat and grows into a reliable weapon during battle. Swinging it launches a shockwave that accelerates and intensifies corrosive effects. Although comparably weak to the average weapons, it's convenient in many situations. 
I could charge the artifact for 35 Norkneas of fragments, allowing it to further reduce anomalous defenses and deal with more damage. It will lose a charge after a single use, though. Mmm. Okay. So, we can charge stuff, we can change things, but we need stuff to change things. Can I use anything out of battle other than examine? One, let's save, because it's said to keep many save circuits. Is there anything in the system? No. Okay. Hmm. Uh, hi there, everyone. Hmm. There's no way I'm going to be able to shoot all of them. Dire Ruins. Earth left 12. Okay. Six juvenile anomalies with a mylite class anomalous that lead them. The dire relapse is powerful enough to pose a real threat. She's capable of using her speed to knock her opponents down, allowing her to crush them dead under their collective weight. Where her tackles fail to provide enough force, she will instead leap and perform a lethal drop kick. <laughs> The Ruax, although harmless on her own, will take every opportunity to strike and damage me in some way. Their strategy is to both stall for time and also to try drawing attention and away from the leader, potentially providing her with a chance to land a fatal attack. I don't play my power rights, I'm as good as dead. Dire Ruax will cut the first attack last, I should use that to my advantage. Gotcha! Hmm. It does feel like a game jam! Alright, so let's see. We could rock hammer them, kind of spook the trees. That might be good, though. Glass is an enemy. Let's start with this to make sure that they are spooked. Yeah, that spooks all of them. Good. Alright. You're spooked. Let's smack you both. Attack. Okay. Cheese. The art is too good for me, though. I mean, it's really good art. I like it. It's cute. They're a little chibi, sure, but they're nice. And the little cute plants. I can't wait to murder them all. Uh. Activates at the end of the turn. Mm. We're gonna have to start murdering them soon enough. So let's. Yep, there is the drop kick. <laughs> so it'll be attack, tackle, drop kick. Okay, interesting. So the root lasts are generally cowardly. Yes. The dire one though is not. My only issue is I would like some more things to use to kind of promote the brute force thing. I will say the art style is very cute. I like our last. I'm just missing out on lore. I want that deep, rich, juicy lore. They keep on talking about, like, old civilization and everything. But, mm. Alright. Wait, residual anomalies can be used to make more animation. Okay, we can get that at some point. Is there anything else? No. Hmm. Need an actual notebook for this. We do. And here's the thing. I like games like Call to Sit because with that, I can always read and check back on my cards and everything. What I don't like is... Hold on. Okay, you look a bit funky because that eye is a bit weird. Can I actually click on them? No. Okay, mouse is not available. But anyway, um, yeah, it could have many seconds of rest stages, but I feel that the game needs, what is it, um, an actual opening. I would love to have that instead of just read and just go immediately into the exclusion zone. But what does bug me is that, like you said, it needs a tutorial. I feel adding the tutorial would be a good idea. Yeah, like, if this was the third battle and everything, unless we already went through this, this was battle number four, I feel I could just kind of go around and actually, like, 
check instead of loop back. I'm going to try to go for a moment and see if it actually goes on. Or if it's just, hey, these are battles. Yeah, I think this is just a case of it's just battles. Third time's a charm. Nope, there they are. Okay, so we gotta punch all seven of them. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to think of what I can actually do with this information that I have at hand. Mm-hmm. I feel like I might be the first one to leave one. That's the issue, Drac. Uh. That should not be the bottom of my cup. Okay, yeah, I'll have to clean that out later. Mm. Let's try this again. I'll try this three times. This is try number two. After that, I will kind of be out and just give them a piece of my mind. Let's try our opening with the crap out of them all. And then use our rejuvenation. Because here's the thing, I saw that you grab other party members at some point. Okay, so they're cowards, they're just tripped over. And then... We don't have corrosive damage, right? Yeah, if I spent a lot more time, sure, but I, I can't leave a positive review right now. I really wish Steam would let me leave a mixed review. Hmm. I'm trying to think about what would be best, because these are... Hmm. We're gonna need max HP. Okay. So that is them. And we have regen. Cool. Try... We have to kill them all. How many turns do we have? We have... I really wish I could check how many turns I had. Here's dropkick. Okay. Let's try rejuvenation and... Nope, we die. Okay. Gotcha. Hmm. Neutral review. Yeah, I really wish there was a way to do so. Mm. So we have 12 turns. The same. Like, there was a lot of ones that I saw from Keymailer and such, but even then... I'm trying to wrap my head around things. I feel that... See, I'm kind of scared to speak my mind right now. Yeah, it feels like a very particular game. There are some minor concerns that I can kind of gloss over, like the menu and such, but... This just awakens the idea of I want to add or fix or change things about stuff. This is my issue I'm coming up with. It's just move around until you find the right combination moves away. Yeah, exactly. Like. Hmm. Let's spook them again. I feel that spooking them all is a good way to start. And honestly, I'm just going to regen. And then... Just, I guess, start shooting them. No, because she'll try to murk. Yeah, no, there's Dropkick. Okay. Gotcha. Hmm. I really wish there were a lot of things. Since they're playing on the whole idea of being able to, like, have time be a thing, I really wish when we opened up the menu there was a bestiary. Because that way I could be like, oh yeah, in this encounter they do that. Or this enemy has this trait. Like, or skittish or something that would be a good one for them. 
Or like... What's a good word for it? Like, even Hunters of the Hollow was a quick and easy, nitty-gritty, just RPG, nice art style, basic music, but it was catchy, and it was, like, interesting and everything. This, I feel, is very particular, and it's not my kind of thing. The setting's good. I like the setting. Yeah, I need to make notes, but I would love, like, a note system. That's one thing. And I'm wondering if I can just leave a review on, like, another website or just send the developer something. Because I do have them in the message system for Keymailer. I'm just trying to figure out how I could word it and everything. Because even now, I want to make this work. But me constantly throwing my head against the wall does not feel good. I want to know and kind of think. Yeah, I'm expecting it to go into like a creepypasta sort of situation, but if it's more of this, I'm gonna be concerned. I feel I've not gotten far enough, but the ledge I have to climb over right now is a bit hard to get over. Like, I was hoping that I'd, one, be able to not just do that, but, um, explore a little. Like, you know. Let's try some other things. Yeah, it does not cost the proper So this doesn't let you look to the other enemies, does it? No. I'm hitting the arrow keys and it does not. That's one small thing I would have. Like, it's basic. It's got a basic though. I like it. It's cute. It's kind of fun. Hmm. It's the case of once you get past one of someone you can that, I think it's that it needs polishing. That's it. There's a lot of other things. Like, how do I get power shot and paralyze each other? Like, I grab stuff. Do I have to check things multiple times or what? <laughs> Let's try a little bit of things. This is all about trying. Alright, so she's just going to be doing that sort of nonsense. Okay. I also feel that there should at least be more ways to do things. Okay, so we got to shoot her twice, maybe. Dang. Okay. I think I see what I got to do. I think it's hammer, regen, the drink, and then just shoot her a bunch. Because the sh the drink will boost our crit rate. And rate, rate. The rejuvenation will boost our crit rate in the, the bottle. Let me just check my skills so I actually know what I'm doing. Yeah, the bottle also boosts the crit rate, but also gives more max HP and regen. I could also do the bottle do the regen hammer. Let's try that. Because the regen and everything is 100% for a full store. So let's do the bottle. Okay. So we can effectively regenerate all of their skill, their damage that they do. Okay. And then I just hammer. Because that'll just deal with them. Okay, cool. That's one thing. I could just keep hammering and do timely regen. Okay. So that gives extra power as well. So let's get fucking wasted. There's probably a reason why almost all the best RPG Maker games just don't use combat at all. Yeah, like one shot, you may Nikki, that sort of ordeal. So let's do timely region. Okay. Okay, sweet. So I'm going to not rock hammer. I'm gonna just start shooting. So uh, no, hmm. 
We have seven turns left, so that means I need to just murder. And I can just rock hammer to deal extra damage. Honestly, yeah, that might be our way to win, because that way we just destroy them all. <laughs> Let's get fucking wasted. Okay. Yeah, so the trick is to use the rock hammer a bunch, because that just murders them all. Cool! Yay! I learned to hammer things. Okay, I was overthinking it a little bit. Will work for Final Fantasy, because it's all we had back then. Yeah! Hi there. I don't like that it loops. Okay. Gotcha. So we can go left or right? Left. Left. Okay, we'll go right. Oh, I see what it is. Interesting. I'm doing good. It's misses because I am indeed. Okay. So we're trying to make the center more clear. Is this a way to go? Ooh. Okay, yeah, that was a way to go. Oh, shit. Uh, one. Two, three. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is gonna be fucky. Oh, what the f Interesting. So, one? Maybe? Uh, no, Sophia's model is not permanent. I just have it on today. It's just how I feel right now. I think it's also because the ideas for most RPG Maker games are too complex for turn based combat. Yes. Yeah, no, uh, Psychus model is not permanent, it's just because Shapeshifter. Uh, so, I'm assuming two? No, okay. That's one. This is two. That's three. Four, five, three, six. There we go. Oh. Ooh. Okay, we're back in here again. Hi there. You look interesting. You have big arms, I like you. A young scavenger with a miasma got to her. She's been mostly reduced to a vegetative zombie state. Though incapable of moving or reacting to any stimuli, a portion of her mind will still cling to life. Ignoring her would have been the smartest decision, but the miasma has destroyed the surrounding space. I would have liked to know that earlier with Lore. Further progress is impossible until she's gone. Many scavengers have a tendency to hide cancers of corrosive gas under their coats, which detonate as a defensive counter attack. The gas has been modified to be semi-sentient and will only attack nearby aggressors. Although she poses minimal threat, her high physical defense necessitates repeated attacks to break her down. I'll have to outpace the damage from the gas without succumbing to the miasma. Mmm. We do have an important character here for them. Big hands, though, are cute. Like, we've actually had some very nice character design. I like this. We don't need the, the rock hammer. Actually, corrosive acceleration. Oh, we're out of booze. Okay. Well, let's just shoot. No, not shooting. Actually, wait. Can I get more booze from elsewhere? They said that items were hidden in the air. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything's around here. Basically, Isaki Banki or Yoshika or when there were zombies. Yeah. Hmm. So we have the rock hammer, only rejuvenation, and the gun. Let's try hammer. Gotcha. Interesting. Can I just shoot her? Yeah, that ain't good. Okay, so we're telling you rejuvenation. Which means the rock hammer might be our best hit, because that boosts her crit. How many turns do I have left? One. Okay. Honestly, not that bad. There we go. Okay. Cool. Okay, we get more cartridges and stuff. Yay! Okay, so the items dropped give extra HP. Cool. Hmm. Let's see what we got. Doe. Uh, hi there. Stalker Dozy. There's a five. Okay. Uh, we do have corrosive shots now. Another stalker. She's dead and slowly becoming part of the scenery. Mia. Oh. Lyric Weaver. Thank you for following love the Hockey Toy Academy. Anyway, let me go back to that. Another stalker. She's dead and slowly becoming part of the scene. The miasma that radiates from her body is very thin. A single waste second near her will get me killed. Normally there would be weak points to take advantage of, but the growth has already consumed her internal organs. The wood is tough, standard attacks will take too long. That would be a good chance to check if the growth is useful in exclusion time. Not they have a choice. Mm. Uh, deals 5%, 10%, and 15% max HP damage from three turns. Can be sacked for 30 times. Alright. So, I think that... The main goal is to bonk her twice. We have how many turns? We have five turns. Yeah, that's the kind of way. Okay. And we have corrosive acceleration. Bonk. May as well shoot them all. We have them. And then we do rock out. Yeah, okay, that was an easier one. Inflict corrosive than hammer? Yeah, it's an easier one. Corrosive grenade? Ooh. Oh! This is new. Um. Uh. Hi there! Hi! Yep, okay, you're the one. She reminds me of that Red Riding Hood game you played long ago, Yang. Yeah, uh, Huntress of the Hollow. Uh, I don't think she has a snack. Hi there. Seems to be sleeping. Pick it up. Uh, no! No! She's just sleeping! I don't want to wake up the potentially friendly kaiju. Looks like a yukuri. It does look like a yukuri! Mmm... Stone hat. 18 turns! Okay. An enormous construct of a giant head. Being essentially a massive rock, bolts might not be effective. There's plenty of time to deal with it, so any strategy that can deal damage will. will. I can't kill this thing. I can't move it either. Enough damage to disperse it and thin out a portion of any surrounding miasma, I think. Although it's mostly harmless obstacle, it counterattacks the toxic sneeze. A couple bursts might zone me out. I'll be careful when I attack, lest I get myself an accident to kill. Mm. Okay. I do like the art style, that's one thing. Yeah, what if it's friendly? Okay, let me check the items that I got, because I have corrosive grenade. Its corrosive qualities are a mystery, and such one level of corrosion to uh, all enemies for three turns. Okay, let's hold on to those, because we can easily just corrosive shot. 
So don't have snoring, so don't have sleeping. Okay. Jeez! That is, uh, that is not fun. I will, hmm. Let's try shooting you again. Okay, so it sneezes twice, and then we're good. Honestly, I'm just gonna rock hammer it. It's a rock. It should be rock hammered. Okay, easy enough to deal with. Honestly, they gave us a lot of turns for that and not many for the trees earlier. Yeah, it's a great art style. I like the music. I just feel like some of the battles need to be changed around a little bit. That should do it. Oh, Jesus, not corrosive anymore. Um, hmm. Looks like I have to use the grenades. Gotcha. That's another thing. I feel like we should be able to see stuff. But what's going on? Gotcha. Okay. And then we rock out with it twice. Okay, you can see it a little bit when you're there. Okay, cool. We just smacked a big head. Oh, jeez! What? Um, it's a door, and it's locked. The keyhole's pretty big, so it should be hard to find. Um... Don't they ask that key? How does one key? Uh, hi there. Okay, now we have an actually bigger area. Oh, never mind. Okay. Hey, you. Okay, the tree being a hand that's holding her up, that is good design. A stalker, formerly a veteran scavenger. The arm growing out of her head has a mind of its own. It'll be throwing punches as it drags the body around. Attacking Suri will detonate the process under her coat. Having my skin melt while being repeatedly punched by a wooden fist is not the way I'd like to go. Attacking recklessly will get me swiftly killed, often endurably combined pain from my melting skin with constantly being beaten from a wooden fist until like the land a killing blow. Interesting! I have eight turns to deal with this shit. Okay. Uh, corrosion, because we like corrosion. How much damage do you do? Okay, items are for you, so we're gonna smack you with that. Okay. Bonk. Eat. Rejuvenate, rejuvenate. Hmm, yeah. And we may as well shoot because we have the crit. Third hand! How many turns are we down to? Four? Okay, we can do that. And honestly, I'm just gonna smack you with a hammer. Fuck! Easy enough to do. What do we get from that? Items. So we still can't make the bullets. Things. Okay. Hmm. We have a corrosive grenade, and that's about it. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. Third hand just makes me imagine some guy shooting with his beard. <laughs> Stalker, what a name. Yeah! Stalker Fiora. Well, that's a name that's going to haunt me for a little while. I do like the designs! They're very nice! Stalker, the adventurer type. Adventures are troublesome and unpredictable as they usually carry artifacts to aid them in battle, capable of using them even in a mutated state. She has the ability to launch a whirlwind of sharp leaves to shred down her opponents, and her corrosive gas melts with her remains. Being cut to pieces is one thing, and my skin melt off is another. Both at the same time will result in certain death. Okay. Uh, mm, 
paralyzing shot, though. Shoot. Jeez, okay, you do damage. You do damage. I do not like you. You do some damage. Um, hmm. Let's save the grenade for later. Uh, for now I guess we're just gonna cover you with bullets. I'll have one more turn. I'm going to regenerate. Maybe? No, I should have regenerated this turn. Uh, let's redo that. Let's redo that. So, our first goal is to obviously shoot her with the paralyzed shot. Paralyzed shot. Not. Okay. Then we finally read you. The lore music design art is great. I think the combat needs a lot of work. That and actually having the lore in the beginning too. So we shoot. This is the turn that I would want to regen. Is that this threat? She can move again, and we're paralyzing shot. That does that. And I want to reach in again, because then the last two I'll just pepper her with bullets. There we go. I'm glad that they keep the M1 Garand sound effect in there. It's kind of silly, but still. Alright. What do we do this time? I didn't read. Uh, corrosive. Okay, empty bullet casings, nice. A lot of fragments, crystals, and shards. Hmm. Alright. Wait a moment, are we just constantly just being peppered with just- We're going to just be wearing patches and dog tags? Amazing. Let's see if this works. Your Mimic! <laughs> okay! We apparently got the key from someone. All right, let's see what you are. An executioner class anomalous. It will be eaten if she grabs me. There's not many synergies that attack this type of anomalous. I better make each move count. Okay. Oh. Is that filibuster? Thank you for calling. Welcome back to the academy. Missile mine. Heck yeah! I'm trying it out. It's it's kind of an interesting thing for me so far. I get that feeling too, Drac. The idea that the war is going terribly wrong is interesting. I mean, we have 11 turns. I'm gonna be mean. Paralyze you. Then we're just gonna pepper you with corrosion. Yeah, this is- this is mean. Okay. Gonna try time we no 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 no. War? I heard war. In-game war, yeah. Um, hmm. So it is turn eight, that means I need a paralyzer again. For three to four. Let's rejuvenate and see what we can do. We can move again. So we shoot her. Okay. Then we shoot corrosive again, and then we hammer her. Actually, for some reason, I feel that the sound effect is actually of a bolt action. 19... Wait. 1887 Springfield bolt action. Interesting. War always changes. Indeed. Come on, reconnect tablet. Okay. So... That deals more of their max HP. Yeah, that's good, and I believe I can just murder her. Actually, if I do the corrosive grenade, that might be better. And then I could just do raw hammer again. Okay, now I can just shoot her. Hey! Oh, that's not good. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, so she's an insta-killer. Gotcha. 
She's an insta-killer. Interesting. Okay, I see. I see. So, use the corrosion grenades early. Okay. I see what I'm supposed to do now. Grenade! And then paralyze you. Honestly, I should just pepper you with the grenades first, because those are useful for a reason. And then, we just bonk you. Alright. You're bad? Okay, you're back. Welcome back. So, we rock hammer you, and then we should be good. We're still paralyzed. Honestly, that is much easier if I use the freaking grenade. Oh, thank you, Jack. Hammer time. Heck yeah. Does she need it? Yeah, she needs poison. Enjoy your poison! It's tasty and delicious for you, is it not? Oh, I need to regen. Ooh. Yeah, I nearly fucked it up. Okay! Hammer. There you go. Have a nice death. Yummy poison. Mm. Hello, friends! How are you all doing? As computers know, this area consists of 10 floors. Left stairs go up two floors, right stairs go down three floors, lower exit goes straight to the seventh floor. Oh, this is going to... Oh, great! Thanks for the hydrate. Think you'll have the dip? Yeah, she had a good snack. Mm. More acid if it's corrosion, yeah. Small white flowers scattered within a given area provide a consistent navigational reference point. Four white flowers means it's the fourth floor. Count them to orient yourself when necessary. No immediate threats in the safe area, but please do may remain cautious. Great! I'm gonna save. The portal's located at the sixth floor, upper door goes up to the first floor. Okay, so this is our hard reset. Left goes up two, three goes down three, and right goes down three, lower exit goes straight to the seventh floor. Hmm. Yeah, this is fun. We're in some rock lady's head, and now we're trying to exist in a point. Hmm. Okay. So this is a simple math question. Great. Portal's located at the sixth floor. But I probably want to explore all the floors. Great. So what if we go this way? Okay. So... I think we want to avoid the 7th floor. 7 minus 3 plus 2. I mean, potentially. I love how this is hazard rating level 0. Meanwhile, me, I'm overthinking everything. Let's go down this. Okay. Honestly, just to fuck around. 5th floor. Hi there. That was easy. Just go back and forth. Huh. Okay. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. The current checkpoint is represented by the red cosmo. Other checkpoints are represented by the yellow cosmo. Miniature white flowers represent the points of sets between A and B. Oh, my brain. My brain, I can already feel it locking up and seizing up. Oh, no. Look, you're good. Trust me. You don't need to spend time off your vacation just to check in. You're good. The maze is a one way, you can only go forward, all deviations for the path lead to a dead end. Oh my gosh. You can enter the maze from the current checkpoint view. Oh, the, my brain. Oh, my brain! You can exit the maze from the current checkpoint via the warp portal symbols that don't point towards the next checkpoint. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, we're going into some math. You'll have to start from the beginning of the maze if you leave, so mind your progress. Gee, thanks. Thankfully, the maze isn't very difficult. It is. Yeah. Prospector Armless says there's something else lurking in the maze, but we haven't found it yet, as usual, proceed with caution. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, no, sir. No, sorry. 
Oh, I see how it is. Okay. So, we start at the red one, now we're at the yellow. Gotcha! Wait, that means the pink thing is what we need to avoid. Mmm, 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 mmm. I don't like lurkers. So this pink thing is what's trying to murk us. Cool. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Right. So what if we go down? Oh, we don't get the map. Entering the maze does not count as a step. The big red flower means you're on step zero. Oh, I don't like it. Ugh. No, lurkers in game. Yeah, I like stream lurkers. Stream lurkers are nice. Okay. So I need to literally make a mental map because of this. Okay. Ugh. I think this might be the straw that brings the camels back for me. Hmm. Here's the thing. I don't know if there's jump scares in this game. I hate them because they're distasteful. I don't know if there are any, but hmm. I've chosen the path of pain or just screenshot it. Okay, but here's the issue. Um... Hmm. I don't know if I'm meant to go up or down. There are six of them. There are six paths of pain. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm screenshotting it and putting it in. I'm just sending it to Annie, because why not? Yeah, I am... Mm. It's like you start at the red one. Yeah, we start at the red one. Fuck it, we go down. So that brings us back. So, red is this first one. The war portal centers used to both enter and exit checkpoints. After taking five steps down, enter the central checkpoint again to reach the next checkpoint. Okay. Two, three, four, five. Gotcha! Okay! So it's save state stuff. Oh! So, one, two, well, one, two, three, four, five? Is that what I need? Oh shit! Huh. Okay, hello, Crag. Uh-huh. Also, hi, Expos. The shortcut is presumably some kind of bait. The regular route gets the same end point. So don't waste your time trying to save time. Interesting. I learned how to navigate the maze using brute force, follow my instructions, and everything should be fine. The labyrinth has changed and the signs are gone. You're on your own and I wish you luck. Fuck. Now you may notice that there's a big white flower in the path between the red and yellow flowers. If reaching the yellow flower is too much to handle, you can stop at the white flower to reorient yourself. The steps to the white checkpoint is one step, one down, one right, one up, one right, one up. However, you can skip straight to the yellow checkpoint as well. Previous rules apply, 11 flowers, 11 steps. Ugh. Okay. Down, right, up, right, up, left, up, right, up, left, up. That is... Huh. It's interesting, but I'm also kind of sad the lack of music. Easy peasy, they say. Easy peasy, sure. Okay, let me just read what I have. No, that, oh shit, oh, that's the wrong thing. Okay. 
Wild Hellhound has appeared for a hyperball to catch her. <laughs> Hello there. And I don't think I will. Hellhounds deserve to be free and wild. All sorts of nonsense and murder. Lisa, thank you for following. Welcome to Akito Academy. Don't mind me as I do sorts of things. Nuh uh. What do you mean, nuh uh? Okay, so. Hold on. Hmm. What about head pads? Head pads are good. So, down, right, up. Down, right, up, right, up. Down, right, up, right, up. Oh! Okay, hold on. Down, right, up, right, up. Gotcha, so that goes to the white one. Okay, so... Hmm. What's in the pink one? I took one of the eShop recent releases, and let's just say Nintendo allowing extra games in their stores now to death. I mean, they've always allowed them. It's interesting. Oh, it's right in the instant releases tab. Interesting. I mean, here's the thing. I could easily just grab the microphone and well, one fell swoop and just go... Who's a good girl? And get, like, 90% of the people here to just go wild and feral in, like, 10 seconds. But you know I won't do that. <laughs> ah. I am mean. Welcome to my class. Anyway, uh, okay. So, down, right, up, right, up. Okay. Down... Okay, entering the maze is not constant. So, down, right, up, right, up. Hold on. Down, right, up, right, up. Left, up, right. Up. Left, up, right. Left, up, right. Up, left, up. Oh, sweet. Okay, cool. I thought by this point the maze can be navigated using a numbered grid system. My assumption was completely wrong. Different logic is being applied here. There's some correlation between the flowers and the checkpoints, but that's all I figured out. The miniature red flowers seem to represent a number twice itself. One red flower is two steps. Two red flowers is four steps. Three flowers is six steps, and so on. I'm not completely sure if that's how it works, but I made it to the next checkpoint by adding these numbers to the vague made-up rule set. The steps of the white checkpoint is two, two right, three down, one right. The steps of the yellow checkpoint is two right, three down, seven right, one down, nine left. What? <laughs> Jeez, it's getting windy. Math. 1.20 p.m. here, and I'm awake since Sunday. You need to go to sleep? Lisa, I don't mind if you need to go to sleep. Because seriously, I want every one of my students to be happy and healthy. This isn't math class. It's not math class. I'm wondering why. Like, hmm. It is a puzzle game. That's what I've noticed. But here's the thing. If they led with some puzzles. Ugh. White checkpoint has a different shape. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me check the maze real quick. So we want to get to the pink for the X. I guess. 
for the yellow checkpoint. The pink is if we take too long. Interesting. About the Discord? Yes. Do you need the student role? Yeah. I'm gonna give you the student role and you'll be a good girl. Or boy. Either or. Or good person. Yo. Okay. There you are. You are all aboard. Enjoy. I'm trying to, like, orient myself, and it's... Mm, 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 mm. Remember to follow the rules. Exactly. Basically, don't be a jerk and just... Yeah. Where is the general chat? Uh, you can look in the directory if you need help finding things, but hallways is the general chat. Yeah, directory is what you'd want for everything else. Um, <laughs> the combat itself was puzzles. Yeah, but I feel like the lack of music is definitely driving me a bit insane. Um, do I just add my own music? Nah. You're good, you're good. Two right, three down, one right. Okay. So we enter the maze at the bottom. Oh. Fuck! I just fucked myself up! Uh, load? Nope, I fucked myself up. Dang it! I forgot to save. Ah! Alright, whatever. Mm -hmm. Honestly, eh, it is. Mm. I'll. Yeah. I don't think it's a game for me, I'll be honest, and I think that it needs a little bit of work.